73 in Crystal River, Brooksville, the same, Brandon, the same, mid to upper 70s. It's, it's a pretty quiet start to the day. We did have some thunderstorms yesterday, of course, not as many as we had the day before. I think today, about a 40% rain chance. The lowest rain chance we have is tomorrow, and that's at about 30%. But then by Monday, we'll have doubled the rain chance back up to 60%. So make it a brief break, most of us on Saturday. 70s for the most part. I have one place in the entire state above 80 degrees. St. Pete. Everybody else is in the 70s for now. But the heat index, boy, oh boy, does that go high. We're going to go right back to the lower 100s for today. And it's gotten to the point where it's like every single day, just expect the heat index to go to 100 and 105, especially in a pattern like this, because we don't get the rain till the latter portion of the day, gives it all day to warm up. The reason we're gonna lower the rain chances just a little bit is because of a little bit of drier air to our northeast. Uh, it's not gonna be a huge factor today, except in the northern part of our state. But then tomorrow, notice how we get a little bit to kind of punch in Citrus County, Hernando, Pasco, all the way down to maybe around I-4. So that's why the rain chances tomorrow are down to 30%. However, by Sunday and into Monday, all of a sudden, it's just that deep tropical moisture just pours right back in, and then the rain chances are 50, 60 percent again. Keep in mind, east wind, so the pattern is the same every day, which I kind of like because we get used to it. You know what I mean? Like when we start switching patterns all the time, you're like, oh, is it going to rain at 8? Is it going to rain at that? Well, between three and six every single day. I just want you to keep an eye out for these showers and storms. And you saw just a couple of days ago how fast they can develop once these little tiny showers, which you'll see at one o'clock in Polk County and in Hardy County and Highlands County, once they hit that West Coast sea breeze, they just get enhanced. So expect between four and about six o'clock today, showers and thunderstorms. Tomorrow there'll be a couple, just not as many. Overall, tropical activity. We are going into September and it, Hands down, September typically has the most named storms, percentage-wise. 34% of all named storms happen in the month of September. Right on cue. Look, two areas of interest that we are watching. The one that just came off the coast of Africa, I'm not even going to think about that right now. It just literally just came off the coast of Africa. This one here, it's just a lot of disorganized convection. But the computer models slowly want to develop this. And when I say slowly, I mean maybe not till next week, and then start to bring it into the Caribbean. But the, the problem with that is... You know, you're looking at a computer model, which is trying to pinpoint where something may go, but that something hasn't even developed yet, you know, so got to wait a few more days. Once you get a discernible low with this, then it'll be much easier to track from there. So I wouldn't worry about anything this entire holiday weekend, tropical wise, but I would check back in with us on Tuesday. How does that sound? Lots of heat and humidity with a 93 degree temperature today. Of course, it'll probably feel like 103 degrees. Boaters, a moderate chop all weekend long, but be mindful of those afternoon and evening storms the next seven days this summer august into september not much of a difference rain chance 30 percent saturday 